Hey everybody, it's Austin. We are in the camper today, which you all haven't seen yet, but what we're doing is adding a voltmeter to the camper um, along our charging center right here so that we can see how much battery we have left um, on our deep cycle battery. And we don't have one currently, but the one I'm adding in just looks like this and it shows voltage and percentage of the battery. So I'm really excited to get that added in. And what I'm doing now is tying the wiring into our current um, wiring right now. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing so you can add it to your own if you need to. All right, so I kind of got a jump start on you without showing you first, because I wanted to figure out what I was doing. But right here, you can see this normally goes right here. And it has a USB and normally a 12 volt um, cigarette plug, cigarette lighter plug, DC plug. But what I've done is I've removed it just to check the power on that. And then I cut the USB um, plug off of there because I thought it wasn't working, but it was actually my charging cable. So that sucked. And what I'm going to do now is add in a pigtail to that, a couple pigtails, so that I can um, plug it into the back of the USB to just to re-put re this back up and then some separate pigtails that go to these connectors that are included with this voltage meter plug. So we're gonna go ahead and get those um, wired together. It's just, I'm just gonna use some wire nuts to connect them to the existing power, which I'll turn off before I do this. But once we get those wire nutted on there, we'll plug this side in to the USB right here and then another pigtail that'll go to our voltage meter. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So in order to attach your pigtails to the voltage meter that I'm installing, it comes with these little um, connectors that you just have to put the wire in one side right there. And I'm using a 14 gauge wire. So you put the wire in that side and then pinch it down with your crimpers or or pliers and make sure it's tight in there. But all you do is literally slip the wire into this end right here and then pinch it down right there. And it's super easy and you can see we've got our crimp right there and it plugs right onto the voltage meter. Okay, so now you can see that I used a wire connector to just screw on to the existing power, those tiny wires. And I just used a little nut wire nut which isn't always the best way but um i'm just adding multiple wires together so that's the way i was doing it and that's how the other ones are which i know those are a little bit better but this works just as well and then i plugged in my voltmeter to test it out onto these plugs that it came with and it worked great so i'm just gonna get these other wires stripped with a butt connector put on them to hook back to my existing USB connector um, since I cut it because I'm an idiot. And then once we do that, uh, once we do that, we'll get it put back in the hole that's in the cabinet and then drill our new hole for the new voltmeter. So we're getting there. Not too bad of a process. It's just been a long day for me trying to figure out what was wrong when there wasn't anything wrong. So always triple quadruple check before you remove anything. Okay, so these are the new pigtails that we added for the um, USB cord that I messed up that I put the butt connectors on. And then these are for the cigarette lighter that already has those types of terminals on it. So we just gotta hook these butt connectors up to this. So, This is kind of a small butt connector for this, which isn't ideal. Seem to fit on there well. Hold that in place. Pinch it down. There, and I'm gonna do it in the middle too. Give it a pull. They don't move, so make sure you do red to red, obviously. And then you come in with the black, twist your wires down. And 
And if you want, you can put shrink, heat shrink on this. Uh, I am not because this has its own heat shrink on it. And it's also just not needed. So you get those pushed in there. Get that clamp down. It's tight. And then you get your other wires pushed back through. This red one is the positive, so that goes on there, like that, and that goes back on there. So we're going to turn on our DC power and make sure these work. Let me put a screw back in. All right, so we got it plugged in and plugged in a phone cord and it works perfectly. So now we got to decide where we want our new uh, solar, or not solar, voltage meter, which is the whole reason I came out here. So when it is on its new cover, let me get that situated. When it's on its cover, it sits like this. I'm thinking here, possibly. Um, I thought about here, but inside our compartment, um, there's a um, piece that will block that if we put it back in place. So I'm thinking here or here. Also, that could work. So we'll we'll get that decided and then we'll get a hole drilled in this thing. Okay, so we found where we wanted to put it, which is right here. And so I'm gonna drill with an inch and an eighth drill bit, which this is for metal, but it should work just fine. and check and see if our little doohickey fits. Let me get the fascia on it first. Perfect. Pretty snug as it is. Let me put a light in there so we can get the, the cover put on. our little ring on actually you gotta put it over the wires first that's a actually that's not true Was positive. All right, so the one right here is positive. Okay. Had to cut our power before plugging it in just to be safe. So now we got it plugged in, so we have our voltmeter, our DC outlet, and our USB plugs all wired in. Now let's see if they work. All right, so we've got power going to our voltmeter. You can 
can see 12.5 volts. And then if we tap the little power button, it goes to 72%. And then you hold it down to turn it off. All right, so I'm glad we got it installed so that we know how much power we have if we're out boondocking or not plugged into a campsite. And relatively simple install, as long as you're not messing with things that are already perfectly working order. But it allowed us an option to plug into that power instead of running power all the way from this compartment down to our battery. So a little bit of a hiccup and definitely took longer than planned, but we're glad to have it and hope this helped you guys install it in your own camper. And thanks for joining us on this one. Stay tuned for more camper content. We're prepping for our five week road trip coming up this summer and everything to do with truck camping. So like and subscribe for more and thanks for stopping in.